Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas stuff. Recently, I tried recreating the McDonald's holiday pie, my style, and it went well. It went perfectly, the pie was perfect. Check it out yourself if you don't believe me, but the pie was fantastic. Then I started getting some comments. Bill, that pie is so fantastic, I bet you could do other things. I always appreciate every view, every like, every comment. I'm gonna go with the comment that was the most specific, which was from Paula. The strawberry pie they have at McDonald's! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, Paula. I'm combining two different strawberry and cream recipes to try and give you the best strawberry and cream pie that McDonald's has to offer the adult world. So, first things first, we're gonna be doing the filling. Big thank you to Michael. He's a professional chef and he will be remaining silent and filming constantly. Yes. Yeah. So, let's learn how to make pies together. Um, in a small bowl, combine strawberry preserves and fresh strawberries, then set it aside. Oh, this one was picked on at school. It doesn't look too good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. It doesn't get better. Well, I guess for you it does get better because you're not being selected. Ew. Oh, this one's slimy. Oh, it's in the way. Ew. <laughs> Subscribe. Like and subscribe for more thrilling content. How many strawberries do you think? Just a bunch? What does it say? I don't know, it just says strawberries. What? Half a cup fresh strawberries diced. Okay. So, yeah, we got enough. Yeah. Sweet. And we're just dicing them. <laughs> this is not the right time of year to be grabbing strawberries. This one just <laughs> looks like the Phantom of the Opera of strawberries. It's just like all deformed and pale on this side and the rest of it's all red. And you you want inconsistent pieces. That's always important because like no one likes conformism. You know, this is America. Let's talk about music in 2018 for a second. <laughs> I don't know who Post Malone is, but I'm all about your music. What do we do with the tops of the strawberries? Do I just toss them? Okay. That's such a waste. You don't do anything with these. You can eat them. Ew! It's all <laughs> it's got grass on it. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. No, you're doing fine. Hold on, hold on. Everything's fine. It's like a berry confetti. Because we here at Bill's Baking Bistro, we're not conformists. Be an individual. Don't point with knives. Wash your hands. What? What? What'd you say? Wash your hands. In the middle of slicing it this way, when suddenly the health code violation was noted, <laughs> I worked at a restaurant that I can't legally name, but whenever a health inspector would show up, they called it a fire drill. That's how not safe this global family chain is. This is dangerous. Don't do what I'm doing. All right, it worked. That's awesome. have done it the other way. Shut up. <laughs> you might have noticed that I've been demonstrating all these different ways to slice a strawberry. I never do it the same way twice. I want every bite is a surprise. All right, fair enough. And one bite's gonna be just a, a whole, hazard. just a whole strawberry. That looks about right. Boom. Compost. Now we want half a cup of strawberry preserves. Those of you who don't know, those are strawberries that always call ahead when they go to a restaurant. That's a reserve. Pre-reserve. Pre <laughs> those of you who are wondering, strawberry preserves are strawberries that belong in a museum. Oh, this is gonna be flawless. In a small bowl, combine strawberry preserves and fresh strawberries. Me after I eat Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle after he eats me. And then it says to set it aside. Now in a large bowl or stand mixer, we need a lot more subscribers before we start using things like a standing mixer. Like and subscribe. In a large bowl or stand mixer, which we don't have, beat together cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla until smooth. All right, so we need four ounces of cream cheese. This is an eight ounce, yeah, this is eight ounces. We're doubling the four ounces. Four times two, everybody. One whole thing of cream cheese. That'll be on the test later. And then beat it twice as hard. Six tablespoons of powdered sugar. But the other recipe says to use regular sugar. Dealer's choice. Half and half. Ooh. Is that dangerous or is that smart? I mean, you can't tell me. We're doing both. No, there's cream cheese on my fingers. It needs to come off now. I don't like the <laughs> sticky. So what I'm gonna do is three of each because it's 2018. Hello, old friend. I left it, my mark on it and it left its mark on me. Well, I thought you were saying hello, a friend, like when, you know, you're a kid and you would go to the powdered sugar and grab spoonfuls of it. No, Michael, I was fat from eating cheese. I wasn't fat from being diabetic. Oh, I did that. Did you do that? I actually did that. <laughs> Wouldn't that like suffocate you? No. Because it would- You inhaled it. It would dissolve as soon as it hit your, your tongue. Ew. Should I try that? 
Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I was like eating a cotton ball's ass. Two teaspoons of vanilla since we're doubling everything. One tisp, two tisp. Remember that from Sleeping Beauty? One tisp, tisp, one teaspoon. Oh, one teaspoon, of course. I've never seen it. We've never. This isn't about your first, this is about my first. <laughs> oh, I'm beating these now. With uh, what? A whisk. Or you can start with like a fork. So, I, do I just... Yeah, this is this you're just pressing it. Impressing it? Pressing it, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a BFA. <laughs> this isn't doing anything. Yes, it is. It's not enough wet. It makes me look like a fool. Isn't that why you have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is it? What's yeah. the end game here? Yeah, that, that's, this? that's whipped cream This cheese. is what we're fighting for? I think you can switch to the whisk now. <laughs> That looked pretty professional, didn't it? That was that was dope. It's called a trick shot. It's called a layup. It's called a three-point conversion. Look at that! I just spread it. This is the one I hate. It's the one where it gets stuck in the center. <laughs> it begins. No! It tastes like an offensive cheesecake. That's Very smooth. That's smooth. Okay, yeah. now set aside. Unroll the pie crust. Done. Here's where we're kind of go off the beaten path. Were we supposed to mix the strawberries? I think we needed to mix that, yeah. Yeah, it just says combine, so. That's an easy part. <laughs> <laughs> Did they want you to add sugar to that too, or? That was one recipe said that though. Oh, but I'm doing it though. No, half a tablespoon of sugar into here. So now what I want to do here, a layer of strawberry and then a layer of cream cheese, then ideally two more layers to give it a candy cane vibe because I'm going the extra mile for you. Like and subscribe. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do this again. Yeah. I'm thinking instead of four layers, we just do three. So it'll be strawberry, cream, and then strawberry. So there's our first layer, and now we're gonna freeze it so that then we can add the cream cheese on top. Put it in the freezer right next to your Game of Thrones uh, whiskey there, and above the chicken. So next while we're waiting for that to freeze, we're gonna be making our pie crust topper, and we all know how great I am at that. Messy, mess. Everything's a mess. Must make clean. It looks good. Remember to like and subscribe so we can afford a rolling pin. Oh God. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Not for that. What do you mean? Not for, that's that's for pizza dough. Really? Yes. No, you, you like. That's for pizza dough. That's not what you're trying to do right now. <laughs> <What are> you... <laughs> it didn't freeze. It just feels like Jello. All right. It's been about what? 45 minutes? Yeah. It's been one, one week to do like the thing. Wait for the strawberry goop to solidify in the freezer so then we can take our cheesecake gunk, put it on top. How do people do this professionally and like on time limits on TV? There's a lot of smokers in the culinary industry. This is a um, technique that's been passed down for generations. What are you calling it? It's called fingering. <laughs> And there you go, that's that's layer number two. And then we're gonna do one more layer of strawberry. What up, YouTube? So, we got this, we're gonna stick it back in the freezer. I'm putting a topper on this pie, because you know me, open-faced pies are against our Lord and Savior. I'm gonna make it as McDonald's authentic as I can by putting more sugar and more calories on it, because we're gonna have a glaze on our topper. Those of you who don't know what a glaze is, it's um, a good question. Please save it for later. Please don't ask me questions. What's the difference between bake and broil? Now we're gonna make the glaze. We need a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Oh God. Yeah, there you go. That's about, yeah. Three tablespoons of milk. Tablespoons of milk. That sounds weird. A spoonful of milk helps the medicine go down. Exactly. And then a teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk them together. Yeah, we gotta whisk. Okay, perfect. We're nailing this. Ooh, that's turning into a glaze fast. That, I, I'm impressive. All right, well, we made our glaze, so now I'm confused. When I put it in the oven, should I wait until it's warm and do the glaze last? Glaze, yeah, after it comes out of the oven. All right, the oven is preheated. It was wet. Oh, look how much I've learned since the last one. 
in the pie. Oh god. Impressive. Level up. Do I have to put slits in this one too? Yeah. Subscribe. We're, we're breaking new grounds here, so we're gonna try 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, fam, welcome back to my oven. Hi, how are you? All right, see you in 20 minutes. Uh, so, that was about 35 minutes. She's a little juicy. <laughs> that top layer is a separate entity from everything. But first, we gotta put the glaze on her and let her cool. Remember the glaze? The best thing that ever happened to us because it was so good and easy. Now we're just gonna brush it. How's that look? I've never glazed before. Am I doing this wrong? No, you're good. It's a lot. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> and look at that. We have our strawberries and cream McDonald's pie done as a pie, glaze included. There's only one thing left to do. I almost don't want to cut into it. It's got like skin. Oh, it's still mm -hmm. wet. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, it's soup. <laughs> Ew, it looks like a wound. <laughs> oh god. It's a horror pie. I did it, nerds. This is what I want to do the whole time. It's a horror pie. Oh, it's a bloody brain <laughs> strawberry cream pie. Hashtag horror. Hashtag horror fan. Hashtag gore. Hashtag saw nine. That's good. That's pretty dank. I'm all about this. It's um, it's an experience. It looks like a ZD. The blaze is really good. I like it. I don't like fruit pie or warm fruit. It's good for people who like it. Michael, you're gonna love it. Oh, that's so good. That's a winner. But it doesn't look like a candy cane. It was supposed to be layered. <laughs> it doesn't matter, this is amazing. But it was supposed to be a whore pie. It looks like a gash. The wound, not the slur for a woman's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost 3 a.m., but... <laughs> yep, but that sounds like three S's though. Yeah. That's my recipe for the McDonald's strawberry and cream pie with a uh, homemade glaze on top. How would I do? Would you still try it despite how it looks? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, is there anything else you want to see me try to make? Thank you again, Paula. I never even knew that McDonald's had a strawberry pie. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more. And we will see you soon with more vlogmas goodness. Michael, shh. Jesus, you're already done? That was good. My god. <laughs> Gluttony is a sin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's murder pie. I'm calling it murder pie.